Hello, we will uh, overview sample which uh, uh, demonstrates advanced driver assistance system uh, and it is based on the magic grid approach for system engineering. As a columns here you see requirements, behavior, structural, parametric uh, points of view to the system and from the rows perspective we see concept, ab different abstraction levels, conceptual, logical uh, and then solution level. Also, we see here enterprise view, which consists of capabilities view. We see here capabilities, uh, one of which is collision avoidance, which is introduced. It could show also timeline. It could uh, show also status uh, of this capability implementation, but uh, we don't use this, those views here. But here we see uh, also requirement uh, from conceptual level, stakeholder need, which uh, basically impl which implementation will uh, address uh, this capability introduction. We see here vehicle life cycles and the operational view one of the operational views which uh, relates to this capability then uh, when we go to the system design first of all we start from conceptual level we get those uh, text-based requirements uh, and uh, uh, then we formalize them uh, user needs are formalized with the use cases so we have here use cases with the actors, actors uh, are roles uh, which are introduced. And then we have here uh, system context. So system uh, behaves uh, in some way, uh, in different ways, in different contexts. And so here we see uh, collision avoidance environment in which uh, system, uh, uh, this uh, capability of the system uh, is introduced and, and the system is in, uh, designed for this environment. And also we see here measurement of effectiveness. Those are critical characteristics uh, which uh, system should, uh, future system should comply. So response time target, uh, uh, mean speed in urban area, city max speed. And there could be many of them. Then uh, from this point, we move uh, to system uh, requirements. Uh, uh, so we formalize the user needs. Uh, we understood those user needs. Full coverage of user needs were created with the model from uh, behavior side as use cases, uh, structure side, and then uh, measurements of effectiveness as characteristics. And as a result of this uh, is system requirements. We represent the formalization of user needs. And we are pretty much correct right now because the system was understood uh, uh, with the help of the modeling. So now we see those system requirements here and we trace back to the stakeholder needs and also they are refined again by the model of the uh, logical design. Here we see also refine the verify relations, those are to the test cases which uh, verifies those requirements and uh, here we see refined bias from structural perspective and behavioral perspective. And then, uh, so as discussed, we refine the functions. So here we see the full decomposition of functions. Functional analysis we started with the use cases, the workflow of use case, and those continue. And by the composing functions, and we get uh, different uh, uh, parts of the system identified, which are responsible for different functions. And then collaboration between those functions basically introduce requirements for the interfaces for those uh, parts. Uh, here we see uh, one of the functions decomposed uh, from the uh, uh, use cases perspective uh, and then later on functional analysis and here is another one. And uh, also this state machine diagram which represents the system behavior. And then uh, structure of the system and on uh, also the analysis. So from analysis perspective we have uh, a few things to demonstrate. First of all, we, we can uh, execute um, uh, execute the state machine. It's completely executable. Every element is executable. And uh, with the help of user interface diagram, we can create mockups. Uh, those mockups can be enriched with the image switchers and uh, which represents different active elements. And also we can represent different properties and uh, we can use uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, elements from user interface diagram like sliders, checkboxes, uh, which can be uh, executable and uh, uh, which can be uh, interpreted by the execution engine. And here we see also the chart, which represents the ability to track the operation time. 
So now I will execute this, uh, this diagram and uh, uh, here are the configurators and here are the image switchers. So everything is customizable. The chart, con image switchers, execution, uh, configuration with initial uh, simulation parameters and uh, all SysML model uh, diagrams, especially behavior ones are executable. And uh, like the activity state machine sequence diagrams, uh, almost every element uh, means something. And uh, uh, once we will execute, we will get uh, system behavior uh, uh, very, uh, ability to validate system behavior. So we can see that this this is actually completely customizable. You see that I can drag this. This is there is nothing uh, nothing uh, static here. This is uh, just drag and drop from the con uh, 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 user interface mockup diagram. So now I will, I will start this execution. And see the panel uh, was created. And this allows us to to verify cap validate capabilities and uh, we'll go to state machine diagram, which uh, will be used to 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 control this behavior, uh, to con to represent the system behavior. And uh, now I can uh, can uh, go through different scenarios. For example, if I will start the um, uh, uh, advanced driver assistance system and um, the time to collision is, uh, for example, 20 seconds, right? So it switches to the identification mode, right? So I see that it's the identification mode uh, and the uh, system is working. And I see also how long it took the, to, to switch to this uh, mode. And uh, uh, if the data is uh, like hard to read here, the, it's not a big problem because we can uh, then export data to the Excel and then uh, compare with, with different uh, execution results and to do a different analysis. So, okay, we go back to, to, to uh, no obstacle. And now let's, uh, let's make time to collision uh, like seven seconds. So what will happen? Again, okay, start. And now we see that we are in the warning state. So we get also different uh, properties of the system, uh, uh, like break uh, pre filled is true. And now this, uh, we get the message that object detection need to break, right? So we get the, uh, in the sound and uh, also the information visually that the object detected. What would be if we will uh, have like two uh, less than two seconds till collision. So let's see. Okay, start again. And based on the logic in the model, we see that uh, the breaks are executed and they help uh, to, to, to user, uh, to driver to break the system as the vehicle. Also, so we see can switch the, uh, the, the advanced driver system, uh, assistance system off. And uh, we can see what would be if there is uh, defect. Basically, works co the logic works correctly. We see who overrides what, and uh, uh, we can test this logic. We can understand this logic. We can try the duration of the operations. Uh, we can validate user interfaces and so on. And everything is uh, completely customizable in this the model based on the logic of the model. Okay, next, once we have this uh, system running, we can uh, actually um, uh, do that, the tests and uh, we can do automated tests. So for, at least, for example, first of all, we can record those tests. So select, uh, once we execute, uh, we can go back uh, to the operational view. We can go back to, uh, to initial state and then, uh, and for example, 12 seconds. And now we can record uh, the scenario of user, which can be converted to the test case. Uh, at least uh, someone who writes the test cases, we don't need to write them anymore because everything can be recorded, uh, you, all user actions. So create sequence diagram, right? And then uh, start. And we record that scenario, right? What would happen if uh, there would be a uh, different scenario? Okay, create another sequence diagram. Uh, back and now changed, change this time and start again. So different scenario, right? We can compare. You see that there is different different scenario. Now what would be if there would be uh, even uh, so uh, again back and another sequence diagram? What would be if there would be like a 
less than uh, uh, two seconds for example one second to collision we can write here also okay so if it is one second to collision different scenario again and you see that those, this scenario is basically represents the actual uh, Com actual uh, interaction with the system and system switch through uh, one state to another here until the final state is reached and then also properties update right and the message is updated right so uh, those could be used as the test cases description of the test cases is completely transparent we can modify this if something is not needed we can just delete them and uh, as a result also uh, it's not primary purpose but actually we can use this as the uh, automated testing right so here we see this automated testing uh, 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 set up and uh, here we see that those test cases we use those activities like drag and drop and see this activity this uh, those sequences we used uh, in the in the order and we created uh, test cases from them if we would look inside so we see the same uh, uh, the same sequence just uh, we created some duration constraint which says that okay once we start the system after five seconds it should be identification state another one okay we start the system after five seconds we should be in the warning state right the property should be appropriate and again uh, we start the system after five seconds it should be in breaking state right so we test that uh, it actually in different scenarios it responds correctly and uh, even more we record those results into the into the uh, instance of the model so basically we can review those results how they are recorded here we see the instance table and you see that the last test was run uh, uh, one hour ago if now we will execute this model so okay let's let's uh, slow down a little bit right and let's run the test here actually it still runs fast because it records the time in the configuration so we run this and we pass the verdict of the first test and then uh, we can and we can see that first test pass right the second test failed and the third test also failed right and now we will see once i refresh we see that final test was recorded and uh, first passed failed failed right and the date is of today if we go here we see that this is the instance model and we see also the traceability between those test cases to requirements which actually are validated. So those requirements, compliance test, uh, time to collision more than 10 seconds, time to collision less than 10 seconds, time to collision less than two seconds. So if we are set up the model for automated testing, uh, we will not need to, to run the uh, test for the model correctness. It will be automatically, can be automatically executed. Uh, uh, it's not a manual job anymore. Uh, so, last what uh, i wanted to demonstrate is the traceability so we can go back here and we see here full traceability it's just again customizable is based on the relations and the elements which we want to show and here is the legend so we basically see from the capability to requirements then to the system requires to, to the system so stakeholder needs to the system requirements then to the functions and the uh, blocks and then we see also verified uh, test cases of the requirements and then also we see the function of the composition activity the composition right uh, one function is decomposed into many steps and then also located blocks and uh, here for sure you can also see like um, uh, just point to point uh, uh, see and update point to point uh, uh, um, traceability also you can see here um, uh, a location in the dependency matrix as also you can see here locations everything can be updated here or from the diagrams perspective and also we can generate documentation so once documentation is generated here we see this uh, requirements for system specification
includes uh, context. It includes uh, also the requirements with all the properties and uh, all the relations. See here, verified by, traced to, refined by, derived. Those all diagrams as the images. This is document we can export to the web also.